Hey guys, Sally over from the Shisha Savage. I'm coming at you with another review today, and as you can tell, I'm reviewing Tangiers today. So thank you so much to my friend John Nador over at hookajohn.com for sending this out to me. Um, I really appreciate it. Really comfortable shirt, love it a lot. Tangiers logo in the front, and then on the back, get the label there. I think it says like made in San Diego. All the details about where Tangiers is produced from. Um, today I got it set up in my VZ stainless steel tall with a hookah john 80 feet bowl. It's um, not the first generation, but I think it's like the second big batch that he made. Um, the spire is a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing Tangier Static Starlight from the Noir line. Um, there's three lines of Tangiers. You have, well, three main lines. You have the Burkuk, uh, which is a lower nicotine, um, easier to handle if you're a new Tangier smoker uh, like me. Um, I've been smoking for a little while now, so I just, uh, my last order from hookashisha.com, I ordered some Burley and Noir. So Noir is kind of like your middle of the road line, which this is from, for like your average tanger smoker. Then Burley has a higher nicotine content. They also have the F line, which is, uh, infuses caffeine. I think they also have, uh, another line Lucid, but I don't know too much about it. Um, I haven't smoked it, so I can't really tell you much about it. Anyway, I'm gonna get into the smell of this. Um, thank you to my buddies over at Regal, George Johnson, and G. Um, they were raffling these um, awesome Tupperware containers out for Tangier storage at the Hookah Expo Worldwide, and I happened to win four of them, so I appreciate it a lot. These uh, definitely help keep the quality of the Tangiers um, sealed in. So, you know, I have other Tupperware containers too, but these are awesome. So, the smell of this is a purple grape. You get something else in there, um, not quite floral, you get almost kind of like a cashmere smell, but not quite cashmere. Somewhere in the middle there. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I get grape pretty much. Um, I'm not a big fan of grape flavors. Um, I tried some, you know, tried some Alfacher grape in the past and I didn't really like it. It didn't taste like a grape to me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, have a picture on the side here um, of what the cut looks like. But yeah, let's get into the smoke. So the inhale, you get that sweet grape. It's really, really pleasant. I like it a lot. Um, I don't like overly sweet flavors, but this isn't like overly sweet. I like it a lot. Um, on the exhale though, you do get a floral note. Um, I'm gonna say it's a rose. Not like an alfaca rose, like where it's like overpoweringly really strong and you get like a straight up rose. But this isn't like a potpourri or like a perfumey type of rose. It's just a very pleasant floral finish to kind of even out the mix here. <coughs> um, I like it a lot. I think it complements the grape really well. I think it would go really great with cashmere plum for sure. I'm gonna have to mix that and give it a try. But yeah, um, Tangiers tends to have a very um, distinctive tobacco taste, so I do kind of like that. Um, the more and more I've been smoking Tangiers lately, the more I'm like, why haven't I smoked Tangiers for this long? Um, well, Tangiers is very heat sensitive, um, so right now I have a Provost up there with a the lid off with three Prestige um, coconut cubes, and uh, they're perfect. Medium heat coals are perfect for Tangiers. Um, Thing. Uh, my Heaven Leaf uh, Lime review, I actually mixed um, Tangier's Burkukay Mint with that. And uh, so, you know, I've kind of reviewed Tangier's before, but not really. But yeah, this is a very, very pleasant smoke um, to those of you who don't like overly sweet flavors, but want to try something different for a change. I suggest you pick this up. Tangier's Static Starlight. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, that's all I can say. Uh, it's, you know, it's a very good entry level type flavor for those of you kind of swinging over into the noir side of things and, you know, you don't want to smoke the same Burkuk flavors over and over again. Um, the cut, it's, uh, pretty, 
it's pretty juicy. This package came with a pretty good amount of juice, so, you know, just stir that up a little bit for you pack it. I, uh, semi-dense it with the RB pack in my 80 feet bowl, like I said earlier. But yeah, um, claws are really nice, as you expect with Tangiers. Not too heavy on the lungs, um, like Burley is, but not, um, you know, it's not going to leave you craving for a little bit something more like you do a Burkook after you spoke Burkook for so long. Um, I like this flavor a lot. Um, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of vendors out there who sell this. Um, Tangiers though, if you see a flavor you like, grab it then because, you know, they're smaller batches and, um, sometimes... You know, you can't find the same flavor for a little bit because they're, you know, producing other flavors. Um, i got a couple of new ones that I'll be reviewing soon, um, like Yunnan Shaduk. Um, not quite sure if that's how it's pronounced, but it's a really natural grapefruit. I also have green apple candy and um, some uh, Tangier's cashmere plum. Um, so you'll probably see that on the channel eventually. But yeah. Not trying to keep this review too long, but very, very pleasant smoke. Um, I'll probably smoke it on this for the next like hour and a half, two hours or so. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching and for all your support. I will see you next time with another review.